Good evening. My name is Det Mitchell, and for the past eight months, I've been participating in a project led by the University of the Sunshine Coast as implemented to provide an insight into future jobs, career options, and opportunities for today's youth. I've had the privilege to be working with Elise Taylor Brown, who's currently completing her PhD at the university. I've been assisting her with a PhD project on the well-known disease chlamydia. So outside the chlamydia that infect humans, there are a range of other chlamydial pathogens that are associated with disease in animals, several of which, the ones that I've been working with, infect fish. Chlamydia pathogens have been described in over 90 fish species, both fresh and salt water. Some of the more common species affected include bass, yellowtail kingfish, barramundi, salmon, and trout. The chlamydia reside in the gills of the fish and cause enlargement of the gill epithelial cells, which makes breathing extremely difficult and in most cases leads to fatality. This poses a major problem in both aquaculture and natural ecosystems concerning the balance of the ecosystems and the economics of the fish industry. With this project, I've been able to contribute to the knowledge and understanding of these chlamydial pathogens, as well as their range of hosts. So you might recognise some of these common fish products and meals. Well, these here are the real deal. These are the beautiful fish that I've been working with over the span of our project. The two on the side are southern bluefin tuna, and the one in the middle is the cobia. These are both local Australian fish, which provide amazing recreational fishing, as well as farm production. Now these beautiful fish are in danger of chlamydial infection and it is so important that they are saved. For the project, we obtained our fish samples from local aquacultural farms and screened them for chlamydia by extracting the DNA from the gills and detecting a fragment of the chlamydial gene. We established that the southern bluefin tuna samples were negative for chlamydia, however the cobia were positive. So what were we able to do with this information? We've been able to impact the community, impact the local community by establishing the pathogen affecting the local aquacultural farm so they can put in place methods to prevent mortality of their produce. And hopefully this project will influence the gradual discovery and prevention of disease, not only in fish species, but every chlamydial host, including humans. Overall, this project was a huge learning curve and it made me start thinking seriously about my future career options. It provided me with an important insight into a real science career, a, life of, a taste of life outside of school, and has given me inspiration and passion for my future. I believe this was a great project, and I highly recommend that other schools begin implementing projects similar to ours. Thank you.